first drew you to advertising as a career choice? Uh, what drew me to advertising was uh, actually, uh, in a weird way, I had no choice. Um, 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 third generation advertising guy. My, uh, my father's brother, my uncle, who was uh, 15 years older than he, was in advertising, believe it or not, in the 1940s um, in Philadelphia. My father kind of took uh, b the baton from him, um, was in advertising, and I grew up with it. And so I've, I've, been work I've been making a living in the business since uh, 1984. It's a long time. It's 30 years. Do you still remember any commercials from your childhood? Uh, so I remember a lot of commercials. Um, you know, growing up um, in an advertising household, uh, as we did, um, TV was more of a social event in those days. It wasn't a TV in every room. Like, the family would gather to watch television. And um, we were told not to talk, you know, during the commercials. We could talk during the shows. So I, I grew up kind of uh, watching commercials. I remember a lot of commercials. Uh, I bet you most people of my um, generation would remember a lot of, uh, and, and I feel kind of guilty saying this because they're, they're usually um, decried as uh, not very creative, but you remember a lot of jingles. What do you think makes jingles memorable? Among purists in the field, jingles are, uh, you know, laughed at, scoffed at, but God, you remember them. You know, they, what do they call them? Earworms. They get in your head and you can't get them out sometimes. And you add that to, um, you know, almost uh, uh, everyday exposure six times a day. It's going to get in there. I can do, uh, there was a, there was a, I could sing one for you. There was a, um, a kid's hot cereal, a hot cereal for children called H.O. Farina. And it was an animated cartoon. It was very rudimentary. If, if you saw it today, you wouldn't believe it was like a national broadcast cartoon. And it was a little story of Willie and Wilhelmina. And uh, Willie trips on a rock. And, he's, and he goes, every day I trip over that rock, Wilhelmina. And she says, move it, Willie. And he says, can't, too big. And I bet you I'm getting this word for word, if you could find it. And she says, I will. And he says, huh. You're a girl. And she picks it up. And then the jingle comes up, and it goes, strong Wilhelmina eats her farina. Like I said, I probably heard that 500 times, maybe more, when I was growing up, because it was, it was every weekend for about eight years.